Hello and welcome to Model Airplane Designer. This is my very first demo video so please bear with me. Um, all I'd like to do in this video is show you a quick example. Uh, once you install the software and run it, you get a window like this which is looking pretty blank. Um, all I'm going to do is open up an example. I'm going to pick number 12 because that's kind of an interesting one. And here we go. Um, what this does is create a tapered wing and add some flaps and ailerons to it. I'm going to show you just a quick view of the wing tab. You enter airfoil, span cord, tip cord if different, things like washout, sweep, dihedral, and then uh, you can set up your stations. Stations are just the locations of the ribs. So at zero inches, you're going to have a rib. At two inches, at four inches, six, seven, ten, thirteen inches, sixteen inches, all the way out to thirty inches. And then we will go through and we'll add a few features to the swing, like a leading edge, a trailing edge, spars. This is going to have a top and bottom spar that you could join together with some shear webbing in typical model airplane construction um, stringers if you want. Uh, you can place them anywhere you want, as many as you want. We can do sheeting, we can do lightning holes, we can do fancy shaped lightning holes that sort of follow the interior curve of the rib. We can add build tabs and then finally control surfaces. So I'm just gonna point out a couple things real quick here. This control surface, I'm going to call it a flap, it's going to start at station number 4, so 4 inches out from the root, end at station number 16, and these are predefined stations, so there will be a rib right there uh, to border our control surface. Uh, the hinge line is going to be at the 55% cord line, and since this is a tapered wing, the hinge line will follow the taper um, proportionally. We can also have further control over that, which I won't go into right now. Um, the Edge stringer size is just part of how it builds the, the control surface. And then you can specify the cutout angle. So for instance, I could say 45 degrees, and that would tell you your range of motion. Um, we're going to do another one here. This is going to be the ailerons. This starts at station 17, so there's going to be an inch of wing between the end of the flap and the start of the aileron. It's going to end at station 29 which is one inch short of the tip of the wing. The cord uh, or the position of the hinge is going to be at the 60 percent cord position. Again we can put it wherever we want and same edge stringer size, same hinge cutout angle and that's it. So we have defined a wing. So with all of these parameters entered I'm just going to do fast build. I'm going to save my change and I'm going to sit here for just a few seconds and watch the cursor spin. What this is doing is sizing the ribs, creating the ribs, cutting them out, creating a 3D structure, and it's done already. So what I'm going to do is view 3D. This pulls up the wing that we created. 30 inches from center to tip. Uh, 10 inch cord, 6 inch, 6 and a half inch, I can't remember now, tip. And we, it's a 3D viewer, so I can zoom in, we can see our two flaps, our two ailerons, and I can rotate this and see our structure. I, for this example, it picked the NACA0015 airfoil, which is a fully symmetrical airfoil. It's the airfoil that is used on the Great Plains Super Sportster, just as a small bit of trivia. So there you go, we have a wing, and under the hood uh, we have created all the part shapes, and we've laid them out on sheets if we wanted to send it to a laser cutter. And we have full-size plans too. So there's our wing, we can zoom in. We can flip it upside down here. We can look at the cutout that we created. And the idea here is it's gonna be a gapless hinge where we just uh, put uh, our covering along the top and we flip up the aileron all the way and uh, put covering on the bottom and now we have a gapless solid hinge. So there you go. Model aircraft designer.